Hello, this is FTC22012, and in this video we'll be going over the difference between robot-centric and field-centric drive, and how to code the field-centric drive. So, to begin, robot-centric drive is the way that most things drive. The way it works is basically, if you take a side of the robot to be the front, right, that's the way that the forward direction will be. So if the robots turn to the right, the forward direction will be towards the right. And if it's turned to the left, it'll be towards the left, and so on. So it's forward with respect to the robot's orientation. And this is generally good if you're not too advanced with driving. Field-centric, on the other hand, is not dependent on the orientation of the robot. What this means is that the forward direction will always be the direction that is away from the driver, and the backwards direction will be always towards the driver, and the right direction will be to the right of the driver, and the left direction will be to the left of the driver. So it's not dependent on where the robot is facing. The robot can be facing to the right, but if you tell it to go forward, it'll still go straight forward in front of you. It, it won't care about the orientation of the robot, just the orientation of the um, IMU, which we're going to get to how to introduce that into the code. So this is generally the better way of... Um, using drive because it allows you to have a more omniscient view of the field and it makes it so that your drivers don't have to constantly be caring about the orientation of the robot. So now we're going to get on to how to introduce this into your code. So the first thing you're going to do is declare your motors like normal. Then you're going to declare the gamepad and the mechanum drive or any other type of drive. It, you can use pretty much any of them. And then you're going to declare the IMU. So the IMU is a device in the control hub and it allows you to get the heading or like magnetic direction of your robot. And this is really useful because without it your robot kind of doesn't know what forward objectively is. So you're going to declare IMU with uh, this class um, you want to do this outside of your init so that you can use it in both um, methods. And then, like, you, like normal, you declare your motors and your drive and your gamepad. And then here, we get to the actual IMU. So the IMU, what you're going to do is set it to equal to hardware map .get, uh, that dot class and then the device name, which you can just call IMU or whatever you want to call it. Now, what you're going to do after that is imu.parameters, parameters equals no imu parameters. What this does is creates the parameters for the imu, because not every imu is facing the same direction. Like if your control hub is facing upright versus if it's laying flat, if it's facing the right direction versus the left direction, and so on. So it needs to be able to know that to be able to give you an accurate measurement, and that's what you're going to be declaring here. So in these parameters, um, in this parentheses, you're going to put new rev hub orientation on robot. All right, and then parentheses again, and then rev hub orientation on robot dot logo facing direction dot, and then whichever way the rev logo is facing on the control hub, that's what the uh, direction you put here. For here we put right because that's the direction it's facing on ours, and then if and then after that you put uh, the same thing except USB facing direction. So this is the direction that the USB that the um, control hub has in the back, right? Whichever way that's facing. So for us, that direction is up, so it's facing up. And then what you're going to do is you're going to initialize it. So imu.initialize with the parameters, right? And then you're going to reset the yaw or the reading, basically, to make it zero. And then you're going to go to the loop method to obviously start our actual drive. And we're going to declare a new double heading, which is going to be the heading of the robot. And we're going to set that equal to imu.get robot yaw pitch roll angles I know it's kind of it's quite a mouthful. Um, dot yaw dot, dot get yaw sorry, uh, and the parameter is going to be angle unit dot degrees. It, it'll automatically convert to radians. Um, the class does that, but for here we, you can just use degrees. It doesn't matter. Um, and then you're just going to set up the same mechanum drive as you would with robot centric, except you're just going to say field centric, and then instead of the regular three parameters you're going to have the heading as well. And these are the same as uh, with robot-centric, so the negatives are in the same spots. But you're just going to add the heading as well. And that's how you introduce uh, field-centric into your code and the difference between that and robot-centric. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
and have fun building your robot and coding it.